What's up everyone and welcome back to the final Champions League prediction of this season. Chelsea against Manchester City. And yeah, before we start, just gonna we're just gonna tell you what's gonna come on this channel in the next weeks. We managed to yeah keep most of our tickets for the Euros, so we're gonna start with a lot of stadium vlogs in the next weeks, starting with the opening game in two weeks in Italy, Rome against Turkey. But now let's start with the prediction. It's an all English final this weekend when Manchester City plays against Chelsea. The last all English final was in 2019, so not too far back in time when Liverpool played against Tottenham Hotspur. But now let's have a look at how both teams played this weekend. Manchester City played against Everton. They won 5 0, so really, really get a good performance from them before the Champions League final to get their uh, spirits up, to be hyped up for the match since they know they are such a good team. They beat Everton 5 0, so they can play a really good Champions League final against Chelsea. Uh, really interesting about that match, or special about that match, is that Aguero scored two goals. He got subbed on in the second half and still managed to score two goals. Uh, also, in the time span of five minutes, he scored those two goals, and he's now the record holder for the most goals scored for a single Premier League club. Before it was Wayne Rooney, now it's Aguero with one more goal than Aguero. And yeah, his last Premier League match this week, uh, weekend, he's yeah, probably moving to Barcelona this summer and maybe maybe we will see him this Saturday. Maybe they will put him also on as a substitute against Chelsea to score also a late winner, maybe. Yes, a really impressive performance this season by Manchester City, winning the league with a 12-point margin. So yeah, quite impressive. They've been in the first spot for the whole yeah, whole season. Also for Chelsea, um, we can speak of a um, successful season. They've made it into the Champions League spots. Um, they are fourth in the league now, or they finished fourth in the league, even after losing against Aston Villa. But luckily for them, Leicester City also lost against Tottenham. So we will see them back in the Champions League next year. And yeah, speaking of the coach of Chelsea, actually Tuchel is the first coach ever to reach the Champions League final in consecutive seasons after being the coach of Paris last year. And yeah, obviously we all know that they played against Bayern Munich last season. But will he win the Champions League final for the first time? We will see it this Saturday. Manchester City has still not lost a single match this Champions League season. And that would be yeah the perfect ending for the Champions League season if they crown it with the Champions League trophy. They played in the semi-finals against Paris Saint-Germain. They won both legs, one leg with 2-0 and the other one 2-1. So yeah, beat one of the best teams in Europe fairly easy let's say that but yeah so um they're definitely the favorite this saturday when they play against chelsea but we have to see in the premier league actually since total took over manchester city have won uh, won both of the matches against um manchester city. yes they lost to chelsea or manchester city lost to chelsea actually one two uh, some weeks ago but we should not forget they didn't have their a squad on the field most players mm -hmm. got a rest because it was before a champions league match so yeah Kevin De Bruyne, all those key players were not even. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne was not even in the squad for that match. He was not even on the bench. But obviously, we can never compare that. Like a Champions League final is always different to Premier League games. And yeah, in the end, obviously, I think also Manchester City is the slight favorite in this game. Yes, it's the second time that Chelsea and Manchester City meet in a European competition. The first time was in the season 1970-71, where they played in the European Cup semi-finals. And yeah, Chelsea won both of the legs 1-0 and they reached the final against Real Madrid. And yet, let's have a look now at the injured players list, all the players that are missing for that match, because that's always really crucial, especially before the Champions League final. And yeah, really good news ahead. Manchester City is not missing a single player. All players are fit for that Saturday match against Chelsea. And hopefully that stays so because the Euros are just uh, around the corner just two weeks uh, after the Champions League final. We have the first match. And as Manchester City is one of the best clubs in Europe, all of the players or most of the players are playing in the Euros this summer. Only the three Brazilians and Aguero are not playing since they are from South America. And now also Laporte. The center back is part of the Euros after he switched his nationality to being a Spanish guy now. So yeah, all of the players from Manchester City, we will probably see them this summer uh, again for a month. Yeah, now Ramos has to watch his national team on TV after being replaced by someone who <laughs> became Spanish two weeks ago. <laughs> um, yeah, let's look at the injuries for Chelsea as well. Yeah, they also have, um, have had luck um, during the season with injuries. There's also now no um, confirmed um, injury for the final. It looks like all of the players are gonna be there. We have two players that are concerning. We don't know 100% sure. And that's the goalkeeper, Mendy, obviously. Um, the people that watched the game against Villa saw he collided with the post, had to be substituted. 
Um, Kepa took over and a player like him obviously is really crucial for them. He's a yeah, really high performing player this season as, and it will be a massive boost of confidence for the team if they know that their first goalkeeper Mendy is between the posts if, as we have to say he's on a much higher level than Kepa at the moment. And yeah, he's a player who can um, display a match winning performance um, especially if the um, game goes to penalties and yeah just looking at his stats he is one of the key players for Chelsea. Um, has had a lot, I think, 24 um, clean sheets in 48 games. I might be slightly wrong with that stat. I'll just have to put it in into the video because I'm not sure right now. And yeah, also in the Champions League, um, he had eight clean sheets so far in the season, and the all-time record is nine actually. So if he if he manages to keep yeah the don't get a goal in the final, he will tie the all-time record. Also, Angolo Kanté returned to squad training today after having hamstring problems. But I heard there is a player ready to replace him if he's not ready to play on Saturday. Yeah, and that player is Mateo Kovacic. Um, the man from Croatia has already won three Champions League titles in his season with Real Madrid, obviously. He replaced Kante against Aston Villa already. And now he's ready, he said. Um, yeah, he obviously wants to play in the final as he has not played in all of the three finals. Only made it twice onto the bench, one of the games he was not even in the squad. So he's really ready to play his first final on the pitch and I think he would also be a good replacement for Kante but obviously you cannot 100% replace Kante he's such a um, such an important player for Chelsea so it's really crucial that he's gonna be there for them but as you said he was in training today and I think we'll see him on Saturday. So let's now come to our predictions I think it's a really um, close match hard to predict because Chelsea has shown good performances against City but City has just been the best team in Europe this season so far and that's why I'm also backing up Manchester City I just can't think they will let them steal the show from Chelsea after being crowned the Premier League winner winning the Carabao Cup and now they just want and need that last step to take the biggest trophy in European football club football home and I'm quite sure that Manchester City is gonna take it this uh, Saturday and I'm gonna go with a 2-1 win for Manchester City Yes, um, my prediction is a little bit different. I think Chelsea is going to win this Saturday. Um, just looking at their team, they have so many good individual players like Werner, like Havertz. If they are all in, in a good shape, if they have a good performance, then Chelsea is a really, really strong team. And especially after losing against Leicester City in the FA Cup final, I think they are really hungry to win um, a title this season. And they've been the underdogs against Real Madrid. They managed to um, go through to the finals and I think they have the strength in their squad to win against Manchester City. We've seen that in the Premier League already. So I think it's going to be 2-1 for Chelsea and they are going to be crowned champions of Europe. Yes, that's the prediction already for the Champions League final. We try to keep it quick and sharp, not too long. And we hope you liked it and the next videos will already be for the Euros. The prediction of obviously you also want to rank the stadiums. Don't have too much time left because in two weeks we have to be in Italy. But yeah, we'll, we'll try to upload it maybe already next weekend after the Champions League final, we'll upload the first video. Hope you liked it. If you want, you can subscribe to the channel. There's a lot coming and then we'll see you next time. Bye.